It's never been better time than now to get a high spec smartphone on a budget price. What's up guys and girls, you're watching me Mquan here on Mquan Reviews and this in my hand is the brand new Nokia 7.1 from HMD and it claims to be exactly that, a budget smartphone with great specs. But we're gonna find out if it really is worth that budget asking price in this video. out of the box we're going to have some included goodies a fast charger a standard hands-free kit and a USB-C sync charge cable now the first thing that you're going to notice when you get your hands on this device is the style and design so this is a pure display 5.8 inch uh, LCD panel that gives you a respectable 1080 by 2280 in terms of resolution. But something to note is that at this price point, you're also getting a HDR10 support on that display. That means that it's gonna have superior contrast and a broader range of colors when you're using apps that support it. Now it's a very current looking smartphone for 2018. You've essentially got a glass back and front panel sandwiched in between the antenna bands. And then you've got a design that incorporates a notch at the top, with a chin down at the bottom. Now I'll talk about the cameras in a moment, but I think this design is actually quite current. And you've also got an included three and a half millimeter headphone jack and a fingerprint sensor in the back. It's not gonna win any awards when it comes to design, but I think for this price point, it actually looks very good. Now on to some experiences. This is powered by Android and it has the Android One promise, essentially two years of the latest Android updates. Under the hood, we've got Snapdragon 636 processor with either three or four gigabytes of RAM. And you know, with that spec, I was just expecting better performance overall. It did perform generally quite well, but with certain apps like games, I found that there was a lag or either it was just crashing completely, which surprised me a little. Another issue that I experienced was around battery life. Now it sports a 3060 milliamp hour battery. Uh, I was expecting better battery life, but I found that I wasn't getting it. Thankfully there was that quick charge adapter that meant I was getting the juice in when I needed it. Those were two experiences that really stood out for me when using the Nokia 7.1. One of the things that pleasantly surprised me was when it came uh, to the cameras, uh, the dual camera setup on the back. We've got a 12 megapixel f1.8 and a five megapixel f2.4, both uh, Zeiss optics. Now what I found was actually at this price point, what the Nokia 7.1 is offering is actually quite nice when it comes to the camera. Um, Nokia have done some work and there are certain kind of quirky additions here with the Nokia 7.1 that give you things like live bokeh that I think work really well. They also give you dual sight mode, this kind of simultaneous front and rear camera and you can record or take photos. Uh, again, quite interesting when it comes to a device like this. What I did find, however, was in low light, um, the camera didn't perform very well. It's incredibly grainy um, in very, very low light condition. So if that's important to you, it might be worth considering. Now the front facing camera is an eight megapixel wide angle camera, and it does a good job at taking selfies. So in summary, where does this fit in and is it worth the budget? Well, I have a difficulty because the Nokia 7.1 has great specs, but if you look at this part of the smartphone market, it struggles with some of the other competitors that are out there. I think with adding an additional amount to that budget, you might be able to pick up a smartphone that actually gives you more value for the money that you put in. And that's the difficulty with recommending the Nokia 7.1. It is a great smartphone, but it's in a very competitive and crowded market. And I'd love to know your thoughts. So do leave them down below. Let me know what you think. And if you're new around here, be sure to smash that subscribe button and hit like as well. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, I'm M Kwan. This has been the Nokia 7.1. Peace and blessings.